Uh, so now let's get into the my session, which is basically the I would like to bring it up what we have it in the search um, when we uh, install the 3D and DXT. So what is the search experience we can have it? Uh, the agenda is like just introduce uh, what is a 3D and search. Uh, this being introduced in the 9.5 and uh, it's going to be further enhanced in the future releases. Uh, this is the initial version, you know, initial version which supports the 3D and search on the both uh, 3D and sites and docs. So, so we're going to talk about the what is a, a detail in search, and going to give a little overview about the what is the architecture of this uh, search integration, and uh, what are the implementation, how you can implement the search uh, when you're building the search queries. And also, we'll be give you the um, what is the out of the box the search can provide you, uh, give you the details on that. Uh, yeah, what experience you can get with a search out of the box, and also we discuss about the uh, different GraphQL endpoints. Uh, what are the endpoints you can use it when you're writing in a query, um, and also we're going to look at the few queries, a few of them very simple queries, and also I'm going to bring up a couple of advanced queries how you can write them and also when you searching for the results um, from through the GraphQL um, what the broker results are giving it so that also we're going to look into that and also we're going to look at the some of the hidden search capabilities um, over the GraphQL as well just this is a little about me um, I think those who attended yesterday know me, but those who are there new to this. So I'm working with the RWS group for the last uh, 10 years, so 10 plus years. I've worked in a number of uh, different roles and also worked with a lot of customers. So my main expertise in the Tridian side. And, yep, so let's get to see that what exactly the Tridian search is and uh, how, we, how it has been built. So with the 9.5 version of the 3 uh, so sites, so it is actually the search provided for the both uh, docs and search, uh, docs and sites. So now it will be uh, supported by the both uh, uh, products as well. So 3 and docs and 3 sites. Uh, if you have an existing Elasticsearch infrastructure, so you can actually make use of that. So you don't need to be bring completely new again. So if you're already using Elasticsearch with any other products, uh, so if you introduce the Tridian sites or docs, so you can just use that same Elasticsearch uh, to integrate with the Tridian. And also now uh, with the version Tridian sites 9.5, so we support the Elastic 7 as well, 7 uh, version as well. Yeah, so both um, uh, capabilities uh, for the sites and docs, um, these will be uh, exposed through the GraphQL endpoints and they will be uh, the GraphQL, of course, speaking to the content service to retrieve the content. So data can be retrieved just from the Elasticsearch or from the broker results as well. So we're going to see that how the architecture will be defined uh, when you are searching in a content or searching in an item uh, when you're querying it how this will be when you do it in the GraphQL, what kind of results you're going to get and what we're getting from the broker. So we're going to check in this. So a little go over the architecture. So what um, we have it in the, how it's been implemented. So we have an a Tridian sites content manager or Tridian docs content manager. So let's focus on the sites content manager for now. Um, so when you publish the items, you can publish the items in a, different ways so we we learned that yesterday that you can also publish as a pure data so data publishing or you can also publish as in a rendered publishing or regular publishing where you having the rendering the output so with the templates so this is without templates so either case when you publish it so the deployer has in a pipeline uh, which is especially for the indexing purpose so the, the pipeline consists of the step called index step which takes care of to sorry <clears throat> sorry so which talks to the index service and the index service is a other microservice which takes care of to index the content into the elasticsearch cluster 
Um, so that's how the Tridium sites, how it has been data is pushed into the Elasticsearch. And the similarly, like for the docs also, so we have a pipeline as well, their indexed pipeline, which also talks to the index service. So this is what uh, with the 9.5 onwards, so both uh, sites and docs will talk to the same index service, which will be actually connecting to the Elasticsearch cluster to store the uh, index your content. So once the content or once the items are stored in the Elastic items or documents stored in the Elasticsearch, so which can be pulled through the content service. Um, so either you can get it from the Elasticsearch or also from the broker database, right? So when you push the content, you push the content to the Elasticsearch. Also, you push the content to the broker database. But so there is an, on the content service, so there's a module embedded query client. So which takes care of to pull the content from both, uh, either from the Elasticsearch or from the broker. And you can use a GraphQL client to query the content which is there in the Elasticsearch or in the broker database. So this is uh, architecturally how been uh, Elasticsearch been introduced. A uh, little more details on indexing um, when you when the indexing service is working it. So when it is comes like a pages or components or different binaries items. So they will be transformed and then stored into an Elasticsearch. So we use an Apache uh, ticker. So this will take care of to index your uh, documents, different types of documents, uh, different extensions, and all will be taken care by the uh, Apache ticker to handle those binary items actually. That's indexing. So then we move into the query. So when you are querying the content, uh, uh, querying the results of using an any graphical client so the content service is the one will be interacting to the elastic search as well as the broker database to pull the content uh, or pull the track the required content from the these two systems so so you can use a graphical client to query the your uh, elastic search results or from the broker results and just to give an example that um, so when the items are pushed into the elastic search so in case of um, component so this is the information will be pushed into the name uh, elastic search so it, it has a name uh, it's a json format you can see it and uh, this will be like a, you have an index what is what type of i mean what is the index name you're going to use while you're pushing it and it has uh, some other details like a publication ids and a lot of information will be pushed, including the TCM ID of the item and also the content as well. So what is the so content goes as a raw content and it goes as in a different fields and stored into the Elasticsearch. So in case of a page, um, you can see that it's also very similar, but it also push as in a raw content and where the you will be see the, the all the different information <coughs> sort of pushed into the indexing in Elasticsearch. So in case of a binary, just to give you then a little more details of that, what it can be pushed in case of binary. Uh, it, so for example, let's like take a PDF as a, your binary item. And then you see that it will be pushed the most of the similar information uh, in the source, what are the, where it is coming from and what is the idea of it and all. And later, so you see that there is some information about the binary as well. So there is information is also pushed into the binary. What's the name of the file and what is the creation date of that file and what is the language of that binary and what is the length of it. Uh, and also it is actually the content is also pushed into the Elasticsearch as in a content. You see that it will be the whole content extracted from the PDF and then pushed into the Elasticsearch. Um, in case of an, a binary, in case of a PPT, so it's also the binary component. Um, so where you also push the same information, the most important is that the content again. Um, so it will be pushed into the uh, as an, a content item into the Elasticsearch. So which is also provides what is the um, content type it is, which you can see that it is in a PowerPoint presentation. In case of PDF, you'll see as a PDF and yeah, who is the author, what is the creation date, what's the title of it. So 
and also it will be everything all the language of the binary will be pushed i mean this is just important to know that when you publish a pdf item or when you publish a ppt component what information is pushed into the elastic search and based on this information you can query the uh, content uh, using your um, graphql let's uh, get into the details of um, you know how you can see those ones um the secret when you creating an item or when you creating the schema you saw that yesterday that um, you have a checkbox uh, saying that one you want to push this item to the search searchable and that's where you can choose um, either you want to make this particular field should be available for elastic search or not so by default it is enabled so you can um, uh, it's enabled in the tradian cm side and it can be actually off or on on both sides so you can actually in the deployer configuration also you can switch off the indexing uh, not to send it to the elastic search so you can either switch it off on the deployer side or on the content manager side and it's very um, simple architecture you saw that uh, and we just pushing the items which we received from the um, components or pages so we'll just push this information into an elastic search the advantage is that yeah so we can actually as soon as you publish it uh, you can start uh, querying for that content so you can search for that content immediately so without any uh, other configurations to be done um so we we saw that one like uh, in this particular um, elastic search or the the indexing it covers the most of the use cases which can be um, you can think of it in production sites uh, so that will all covered you can do them um for the any any type of queries you want to write it yeah so it's also um, administrative purpose like when you are querying the content you want to use it for administrative purposes and those also will be catered in the in the tradian search let's get into the graphql endpoint so when when we push or index the content so now we going to retrieve it so we have a graphql endpoints to retrieve the content let's see the what are the queries how you can write those queries directly in the um graphql using graphql let's go by the simple one um so if you want to retrieve an item um with a given id uh, so you have a name for example you have an atcm id either it could be a component or it could be an a page so you can uh, just uh, write a search by id and you can provide the identifier and uh, how many how many times you have it and what is the search results and the what is the broker results you can receive it so you can see that uh, so this is a first information what you written search result which will be getting from elastic search and when you written the broker results so this basically it is coming from the uh, broker database basically so in this query simple query you can see that i am querying for any component and the component i am retrieving it uh, from the elastic search most of the information but i want an a binary information the so the binary component which might be attached with this particular component i want to re retrieve that directly from the broker database so that then i will write as a broker result so you can combine both of them uh, to have an, a good experience of uh, the search so this is a very very basic one so you can search by id uh, to search any of the items yeah you can also extend the search by uh, field also so you can uh, do by the, sorry uh, earlier was id so now you can also do by the single field so if you know that which field you want to retrieve the results so you can actually search the um, by field as well so for example like i want to retrieve the items which are i, I want to search for the items which are created on the particular date so you can create just uh, put in a field name which is a creation date this is basically the system metadata you can also use an a custom meta wheel i'll come back in there uh, but here this creation date is a system metadata and i'm giving the value as a, like okay so i want the components which are created on the 15th date and give them and also you can while retrieving it you can sort them <coughs> sorry um, by publication id i'm sorting them and also sort my descending order as well so while you getting the results so i'm getting the uh, both results search results as well as the broker result
So those are the two simple queries like search by ID or search by field. Now let's get into the little more complex ones or the advanced queries. Um, you can also do by search by query. Um, so you can provide a certain criteria. Suppose if you want to search for an item um, in the in the last search, so you can write by search by query. So you can provide a criteria uh, with a name, um, different combination. So here you can see that field is a um, creation date is this. And also I want to combine this with another criteria. So I can combine those two together and then start by them also. For more, yeah, this is about the search by query. And we have uh, some hidden queries, which is basically the much powerful one. You can see that it's a search by raw query. So you can use this query uh, to uh, do the advanced operations um, like your paginations or sorting in uh, items. I mean, you can do this. So search by raw query will give you the, uh, initially actually it will execute the um, inside the search bar, sorry. Search by raw query will be execute the search by query by default or uh, to get the results. And so we can, uh, put the same uh, like what uh, information, like what you want to query for it, uh, what are the different filters you want to add it. So you can put it and then you can result and get the results on the both uh, broker and Elasticsearch as well. Um, so you can, uh, this is directly from the graphical endpoints. So you can use these um, uh, queries to retrieve the content. Uh, you can also use an search query API uh, to write uh, queries also. So, uh, you either you, the, the API is available for both uh, .NET and uh, Java version. Um, so you can, whatever you write here, the search query, it will be uh, on the back end, it will be using that same search by raw query, uh, whatever we uh, discussed earlier. So that's what will be executed and get the results. So for example, like if you're writing in a, in a Java code and then where you are to retrieve a certain item, um, so then you can actually write by search by query and then you provide that, that TCM ID and then you will be get the results on the right side one. Yeah, so this is a, a more example on there how to use an API, for example, like when we written a, this query. So I'm trying to um, um, add in a more criteria. So in the previous one, we just trying to retrieve the uh, based on the one uh, creation date and namespace. And then here we are trying to add in a more uh, range as well. So if you look at this uh, search query, so we are actually, I want to retrieve the content based on the certain range of the creation date. So like that, you can extend your query uh, while you're writing in your um, Java code or .NET code. So you can write uh, all these. And, uh, and in the end, this will be executed by search by raw query, and then you get the response from that. Yeah, um, it's also like not only the range, so you can you can actually I yeah, see that you can group the uh, conditions as well. So while you're writing in a filters, so you can actually filters them, um, uh, group them filters. Uh, so here you can see that you can group them with an arrange with this date. Also, I want to uh, add another criteria that uh, I want to see that content, the free free content uh, with awesome text. I want to have the, <clears throat> the results for the uh, for this text and which is created between these two date ranges and based on the um, from the content for either it could be from the Tridian sites or from the Tridian docs. So you will be specifying the uh, TCM for the namespace and you can get the results of that. Yeah. More examples um, if you while you're writing it uh, query so you can uh, as we discussed like we can write in a multiple of them. So you can list the content uh, based on the content plus English and what. So you can write in a group them either of those texts or, or you can also use a wildcard or you can use a fuzzy search. So you can, you can perform all type of operations in the API. Um, so I just want to quickly show you the, these queries, how they work and uh, let me, um, just run through these queries in my demo environment. Yeah, so um, 
have these components uh, which we published it earlier yesterday I, I mean those who followed my session yesterday so i would like to query those components uh, first of all i would like to show you that how the content being indexed in the elastic search so in my local system i uh, have the elastic search running on the 9200 um, so i have an index called the udp index i created it and i'm just trying to query for the all the items which are published uh, into the elastic search so you see that um, the way how it has been indexing it so you can check it that like a, how it's been pushed into so this is a component and it is sorry this is a page um, that's a page you can see it and this is information is pushed into the elastic search um, to query those type of content so we can um, use uh, our content api uh, also, this is the GraphQL client to retrieve it. Yeah, so let me run a few queries. I have prepared it earlier. So this is to run and basically we discussed on the to get by field. So let me run this one too. So I'm trying to um, by ID. So I'm trying to query for the content which is there on this particular component so if i run this one you can see that um both both results search results from the elastic search i'm getting web broker results from the uh, broker database yeah so this has been uh, pushed into the elastic search and this is one so we got all the information from the um contact here um also if i want to query for the component by based on the field so let me just search by based on the field so now i'm trying to search by field and the field name is called creation date and i'm also querying the field which is based on the particular date creation date and also by and i want to sort them by the publication id in the descending order So now you can see that um, all the components, all, all the components which was created based on this date will be uh, retrieved it here. So you can see that all those items, um, sorry, it's not only components, all the items which are created under the um, on this particular date uh, will be displayed on here. Um, yeah, let's um, get onto the, the more complex ones. So for example, if I want to, create a name by criteria. So I'd want to add a couple of uh, criteria to the my search query that we can do it here. Like here I'm trying to do um, creation date and but I want to retrieve only from the uh, items which are from the publication five. So when I, it's a very similar to the previous one, uh, but there's no difference actually. So because it's only the components are created in the uh 10th of may and yep so if i want to for example if i use it for the different publication id in case i have anything let me go for the master to this a second to when i execute this so you can see that there is no items are created on the publication to on this particular date Yeah, so this is very useful one search by criteria. So that's where you start adding your um, criteria or multiple. You can call the criteria or filter uh, to filter your content or filter the results. So what you're going to retrieve it. Um, the more important one, the search by rack query. So we discussed on this. So we let's see that uh, how you can use the search by rack query. So now I'm trying to retrieve any um, components or modified on the particular date um, within a date range, basically. So modified between the date of the um, 03 uh, to 28 um, and also between the uh, from the 11th of uh, May. So between these two dates, whatever the items been modified, I want to retrieve them. So you can. Uh, 
run this search by raquery so you can see that there's a multiple items which are being modified during this date um yeah so i have a more queries on the search by uh, query this is a very useful one and this is a more powerful one as well so let me show you the one more query here um suppose if you want to i think we we run the date range so if i want to run the date range using an search by raw query so let's see that how, how this will be executed so now what i'm trying to retrieve here is that the creation date between the um, this date and the and that and the today's date so whatever to be in items are created between these two days and uh, published and there will be you can to retrieve them so you can see the the output of those components or items which are published so this is a page you can see that it's the page been created uh, during those uh, time during that period um suppose if you want to add a name and i want to create a name i want to retrieve the content based on the location and the creation date so you can also do that this is a very um, powerful one as well so you can see the so let me run this one so, so what i'm trying to do here is um oh sorry so if we use the um, the variables query variables as a query string i'm using it um here what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to retrieve the um, content um based on the uh, location which is basically i was i want to have uh, all the items which are under this particular structure group yeah so this is my um, example site and under the home structure group i have another structure group called further information so i want to retrieve all the content all the items from this particular search group also and the creation data as well so i want to retrieve the items only based on the creation date uh, range between these two dates yeah so you can even further classifying your query or further refining your query to do that so when you run that one you can see that um so i receive the location you see that i got uh, all of them from the further information so these are the multiple pages which are there under the um that particular structure group and then we retrieve all that information about those content as well